What's up guys? Here at JRP headquarters today. One of our customers, Evo 10, came in to visit us. Sir, explain Ronnie what we're doing. Um, our good friend slash customer, Jesus, brought his car in today. It's a JRP built two liter. It's our Savage package pretty much, but it's our drag spec, so it's got our you know, tricks up its sleeve, if you want to call it that. It's basically built a tiny bit looser. Uh, as far as piston to one ring gaps go, and that's to accommodate for the fact that he wants to put a stage of nitrous on the car and run absurd amounts of boost. Uh, this is also the block that's step decked to kind of like mimic an O-ring effect, so you know he's not gonna have any issues running into any issues, you know, as far as head lift and stuff like that go. So he came by today. This is 100 miles of driving. After 100 miles of driving, uh, he performed our brake up procedure. Um, which is you know done on the lift. Uh, this this video is kind of to show you guys what you should expect from a properly built motor. It doesn't have to be a built motor by us, but just a properly built motor in general. And also how well the rings seat if the machine works done properly and you guys follow the procedure that we give you. So we already did number one, two, three, and this is number four. I just want to show you guys the leak down results. There's pistons at top that center, as you guys saw in the previous video. So if there's anything wrong with the, you know, uh, the piston rings or if the valves aren't seating properly, it's going to show here. As you guys can see, that's 5% leak down. That's very, very good for a motor that's built looser, a lot looser than factory, if you think about it. Uh, so it was 5% 5, 5 all across the board. And again, we do this to make sure the rings have seated properly so you don't have excessive blow-by. Obviously, the rings are, are seated. Um, and we make sure the valves are sealing. So. You know, you don't have any pitting issues on the seats or on the valves themselves. So, as you guys can see, everything's perfectly fine. Uh, we also did a compression, uh, compression test, which came out 145 all across the board. Now, that all across the board is very important. You want it to be as even as possible throughout the whole motor. Um, keeping in mind, he has Kelford 214Cs, which are about 11 5 millimeters of lift. And again, it's a, you know, technically a loose motor, so 145 is pretty, pretty great. And like I said, it, as, as long as it's even throughout the motor, every cylinder is perfectly, you know, the, the same number, that's what you want. And that's what you should expect because when we machine it, we machine every cylinder to be perfect and, you know, identical to each other. And same, same thing with the ring gaps. You don't want any, you know, uh, variance in the ring gaps from one cylinder to another because then, you know, you run into this variable compression engine issue that you don't want. So, again, 5% leak down. He basically just performed our break-in procedure, which is setting in the rings on the lift that, you know, whoever buys the engine from us, the, an engine build from us, we kind of, you know, let them know what the procedure is. It's very straightforward. It basically consists of somebody being in the car and varying the RPM, somebody basically checking out, making sure there's no leaks and stuff. We use 30 weight oil with a zinc and phosphorus additive. Um, you don't want synthetic oil in there because it's too slippery and it'll, it'll basically come in between the cross hatch and the ring so it won't let it seat properly and you have a very narrow window to seat the ring so you want it to be done as quickly as possible and as you guys can see it's sealing pretty perfectly just wanted to give you guys a little tour of his car and uh, he has a sidewinder 6870 you want, you want to tell hey, us you want to talk a little are? bit about your car uh, it's just got an Odyssey, Odyssey Fab um, Sidewinder kit, straight from Florida. It's got a Position 6870 Turbo. Of course, motor built by uh, Ronnie at JRP. Um, just, yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, it's, a, it's got a built transmission with a 418 funnel drive, correct? That's, yeah. Right, yeah. So he's going he's gonna to try to make this a very fast half mile car. So again, we took that into consideration when we built the motor. No, no engine's equal. You know, you got to take those things into consideration, especially because he is going to be spraying just a tiny bit, right? Uh, <laughs> around 200. <laughs> Probably 200. Yeah. Shot, yeah. <laughs> just wanted to show you guys this JRP Evo X. Until next time. <laughs>